Hey guys, welcome back to LRC. So in this episode, we have a Kopachi 950mm flying wing provided by Banggood. At the moment, the price is about 70 US dollars shipped to US. Pretty reasonable. It's an EPP material and it looks pretty good too. Also, if you check out the link in the description, there's a coupon code which is provided by Banggood, especially for our audience. I've already unboxed it before this. Can't wait. But now let's look at the main body first. Quite a big piece. Seems like it takes uh, inspiration from uh, FX61. And so you gotta open an air hatch here. And in the market, there isn't much photo. Even Banggood, they didn't post any photo of the interior which uh -huh. So that's why you need people like us to, uh, well, give you a review. Quite a large piece here. In terms of the space, let's try some battery here. So this is a 4S3000 milliamp Omoves feed. If you, well, really want to fit this, maybe you can uh, turn it like this. The more common 3S2200 fits perfectly with uh, plenty of space. You may be able to even run it on parallel if you intend to run 3S. So I think 3S with parallel 2200 will be a perfect combo. And how about the back? Good fit as well. This may be where you can put your flight controller like the F405. Let's see if it fits. Wow. Perfectly made for it but I'll be using an even smaller flight controller like this one. Not sure if this is still available or not. You can check out the link in the description for this. And also this. And the rear section for the your ESC and a motor over there at the back. You can see they are round shaped over here, cavity for you to put the, the magnet. It is included over here, four pieces. You can see the hole here because they have already pre-cut base for you to put your VTX and also receiver. Very well thought out. There's a grip here so you can uh, throw it flat instead of throwing it well overhead or through the side throw. So you can put camera here at the bottom. There's also an opening for you to put your camera. But for my flying location, this is not quite a recommended location because where I fly, there's a lot of sand and rock. So material is EPP and so far I think it's it's pretty tough. I mean it doesn't look tough but if you try to bend it this is this, this is tough. This is good to see. Motor mount at the back. And also there's no instruction manual, so I'm gonna figure out well how to uh, install this. The hatch has vent for air to go in to cool your battery. The vent here for the exit is where you put your tap to pull the hatch. And there's plenty of space up here as well, so you can probably put a very thick battery. The wing on both sides, yep, quite big as well. That's why uh, being a 950mm. This is where you put your 9 gram servo. And this is for the spa. This space cavity is for installing oh, the bracket that holds both wing together. Wing tip is for this. So it looks even better with uh, wing tip. You can choose to have a whole piece as control surface or just uh, the inboard only. I'm gonna choose the whole thing. Put on the stickers, it will look really nice. It comes with 6.3 inch times 3.15 prop. This is something new. This is not a carbon spa. This is like some, I think, dowry. Some accessories for... So if you're not going to use the camera over here like me, then you can uh, close this up so it's more streamlined. This is the motor mount. Install it like that. Motor mount. Close this up. Deal push rod. Control linkages as well. Couldn't figure out what this is. So okay to close this up. Alright, I figured out everything and uh, it's pretty straightforward and easy. I'm going to show you how to build this. We're going to start from the main body first to glue the battery tray. Notice there's a cut over here. So this should be uh, towards the front so that your battery strap can go over. Scratch the surface here and also here as well. We're going to hot my glue it. So notice the orientation. Then I'm gonna add some more glue at the gap over here. So make sure it's and then and then comes. Now comes the spa, which is stupidly interesting, which I'm gonna tell you why later. We have a long one, which is to go over here. And it's not full length, because if you see, if it's uh, edge to edge here, and over here, it's not full. You're gonna be careful on that, because the length is not enough. You're gonna leave a bit of a uh, gap over here. These two pieces here, they were connected together. You're gonna slice it and uh, separate it. So the spa is given is uh, 7.9 mm diameter. I don't have an 8mm carbon spa. I may want to change this in the future. I'm not gonna glue this on. I'm only gonna glue this foam piece onto it to uh, secure it. Also, I've cut a bit of foam here to have a bigger hole for my wires to go through. Notice the two piece is of a different direction. You see the curvature over here. The one on the right side will not fit the one on the left side. So that's the incorrect gap there. Correct one should be like that. So... You can also verify it through the cavity over here, which is for the wires to go to your either VTX or your receiver. And the hole and line here is for the servo. So since I'm not going to secure the main spa with glue, I'm just going to apply glue to this area, this area, and this area only. I'm going to apply force to close up any gap. At the same time, turn this spa to make sure that it's not being glued. Is secured and uh, doesn't seem to have a slope for the spa, so that's a good thing. I'll repeat on the left side. That done, and we can still slot our spa in and out easily. 
is holding really firm that's perfect these pieces here you're gonna speed them up first so we can see the difference here the one on the right side has a slot for m3 nut and the one on the left like this so the one on the left which is this type is for the main body if you can see here this cavity matches the shape of this piece here two pieces on uh, each side the one with the lock nut will be for the wing two pieces on each wing as well i'm gonna secure it with uh, hot metal glue as well and then for the wing the brackets are done perfect fit and just repeat on the other side there are two pieces of square shaped uh, wooden plate here they are for covering your vtx or receiver we are going to move on to the motor mount you're going to cut away the tab over here this is how it's installed i'm going to install the plastic motor mount to the foam first then we install the whole piece onto the main body actually the body is quite a big piece so that's a good thing and i think the main body itself is also a wing should be able to produce lift the wing profile i think this will be the 40 type which i like i've scratched the surface on the foam the plastic as well be generous on the amount of uh, hot metal glue you want your motor mount to stick properly securely make sure it's flat and correct as well we're gonna apply a lot of glue because there's a very big surface area let's go so i've also scratched the surface so i know which is the surface that i need to apply the uh, hot metal glue it's going to dry already squeeze this locks onto it done and it's a good job the pull tab for the hatch you glue this piece on first and the curvy wooden piece The apply glue here. I added more glue around it since you'll be pulling this quite often. Try glue over that side as well. Finally, onto the wing, you have uh, these three rather thin rod. Uh, two of them, they are of the same size. Use one of the two to apply onto the wing for the leading edge. So this is a good protection and uh, adding strength as well. Once you push the rod in, make sure that it's pushed all the way in. So after apply the glue, it is having hard time to get in. We're gonna apply glue on the other side. Add the hot melt glue more evenly. Even with the strip added here, it's still quite soft. So we're gonna add this as well. We're gonna push it slightly out from here because there are gap on the main body itself. About there. Mark that. Add some more glue on the gap. Perfect match, but we're gonna see the other side. Push a spar inward and then do a marking here. Add some more glue to the edge to properly secure it. So even with the spar and strip installed, it's still quite soft over this area. So you can see my control surface bends as well. Let's see whether that affects the flight characteristic and whether we need to reinforce it or not. This is the part you're gonna cut. It's pretty worrying. This is a longer strip that joins your wing to the main body total length of 32 cm so we're gonna cut on the 16 cm i suspect this is where you're gonna insert half of this piece into the wing and the other half into the main body of the fuselage that means you have to secure this in position i may change it to this carbon rod in the future okay to slot that into the wing and uh, if you want to keep this wing uh, removable so this is a method otherwise you can just apply glue to fix this wing onto the body permanently there's quite a lot of uh, flex it's better to apply fiber tape here as well but probably after this screw installed then you'll be more secured installing the magnet to the body and the hatch as well they give us four only so two on the body two on the hatch so you can see that the front has a point for you to install the magnet as well so if you have extra you can install it at the front as well otherwise the tab here is going to act as a latch that prevents the front from uh, opening 
you know magnet has north south so you want to take the other one and uh, make sure the direction is correct first make a marking there you go and the filament is actually quite good you can see the gap is really nice here very even and equal with the spa installed this feels even more stiff now let's try to secure the wing with the nut provided later on maybe we just apply a little bit of uh, super glue to prevent it from uh, coming out but the fitment is just spot on you're gonna use the silver color screw to secure the wing and the one once it's secured, there are still flex on it. I hope that is fine because it relies on this very, very slim rod. There are still flex on the joint here, but still acceptable. Definitely gonna apply fiber tape here to post both surface area here. The last piece you're gonna install without the help of an instruction manual will be the wing tip. I'm gonna install later after I've installed the servo. I'll install the electronics off camera. Oh, I think everyone knows how to. Then we go for a maiden. So that's all for the build to guide you through building the Kopachi 950mm without an instruction manual. Hope you find this helpful. You can check out the link in the description on where you can buy this. If you're not done so, please like and subscribe. And I'll see you on the next video, which is to make Maiden, this very good looking 950mm flying wing. So I'll see you in the next video. Remember to subscribe. Bye.